May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. October 23, 2023, Monday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. And then, in the promise of God, Abraham did not hesitate out of distrust, but instead he was strengthened in faith, giving glory to God, knowing most fully that whatever God has promised, he is also able to accomplish. And for this reason, it was reputed to him unto justice. Now this has been written, that it was reputed to him unto justice, not only for his sake, but also for our sake. For the same shall be reputed to us, if we believe in him who raised up our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead, who was handed over because of our offenses, and who rose again for our justification. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Give the Lord glory and honor and has raised up a horn of salvation to us, in the house of David his servant, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who are from the beginning. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. Salvation from our enemies, and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy testament. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. The oath, which he swore to Abraham our father, that he would grant to us, that being delivered from the hand of our enemies, we may serve him without fear, in holiness and justice before him, all our days. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, he has come to his people. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And someone from the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who has appointed me as judge or arbitrator over you? So he said to them, Be cautious and wary of all avarice. For a person's life is not found in the abundance of the things that he possesses. Then he spoke to them using a comparison, saying, The fertile land of a certain wealthy man produced crops. And he thought within himself, saying, What should I do? For I have nowhere to gather together my crops. And he said, This is what I will do. I will tear down my barns and build larger ones. And into these, I will gather all the things that have been grown for me, as well as my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, you have many goods, stored up for many years. Relax, eat, drink, and be cheerful. But God said to him, Foolish one, this very night they require your soul of you. To whom, then, will those things belong, which you have prepared? So it is with him who stores up for himself, and is not wealthy with God. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can I cultivate a greater detachment from material possessions and prioritize spiritual fulfillment in my life? Someone in the crowd said to Jesus, Teacher, tell my brother to share the inheritance with me. He replied to him, Friend, who appointed me as your judge and arbitrator. Then he said to the crowd, Take care to guard against all greed, for though one may be rich, one's life does not consist of possessions. Luke 12 verses 13 to 15 What's interesting in Jesus' statement is that, of all the people who ever walked the earth, no one is more worthy to be a judge and arbitrator of an injustice than Jesus himself. Yet he refuses to intervene. Why is that? It appears to be a just request from the person, 
but instead of intervening, Jesus tells a parable about greed. Material possessions can be very seductive. That's a fact. Yet many people have a very hard time admitting their attachment to possessions and money. They rationalize that they have worked hard, have earned what they have, and should be able to indulge a bit. Some good-minded people who have many possessions, appease their consciences by giving a small portion of what they have to charitable causes, and then conclude that they can keep the rest for themselves. But what does Jesus think about that? In and of themselves, material possessions are neither good nor bad. The problem is the sin of greed. Greed is an interior disposition, by which a person becomes more attached to the passing things of this world, than they are to God and His holy will. Though it might be possible to have many possessions, and still remain interiorly detached from them, this is quite difficult. But having possessions is not the ultimate problem. Desiring possessions is the real problem. Therefore, even those with very little, can fall into the same trap by becoming attached to what they do not have, and by believing that the attainment of more, will satisfy. Jesus refused to act as judge and arbitrator in this case, because it was clear to him that the person making the request, was struggling with greed. Jesus was far more concerned about this person's interior attachments, than he was about the inheritance being properly shared. Earthly justice means very little from the perspective of eternity. This may be hard for many to understand and accept. Doesn't justice demand fairness? Not if the desire to be treated fairly is based on some sin such as greed. In that case, it is far better for the soul to be cheated out of their inheritance than it is to receive their fair share. In fact, if a person does struggle with greed, one of the best things for their soul might be, to be cheated out of their own possessions. This will only be understood, when we see that spiritual riches are infinitely greater than material riches. Reflect today, upon your interior desires. Look at them honestly. What do you desire the most in life? Do you dream of becoming rich? If so, does that desire consume much of your thinking? Reflect upon the scenario, in which you were supposed to receive a very large inheritance, but were cheated out of it. How would you react? The right reaction would be to care more for the soul of the person who cheated you, than to care about actually being cheated. A person who is fully detached from material possessions, will care little about losing such an inheritance or gaining one. It will truly matter not. If that is hard to accept, know that this is a sign that your soul is too attached to the things of this world. Pray for freedom from all greed. That is the only way to obtain the true riches of God. Let us pray. Most generous Lord, you bestow mercy in superabundance. Your grace and love are all I need in life. By obtaining you and your mercy, I obtain the one and only source of fulfillment in life. Please free me from earthly greed and help me to see the things of this world as you see them. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.